says if they want to test this, if they have X amount of days to file a big report. Okay? Now, I got called 20 after filing this day. Well, no. Our lawyer at 5 o'clock last night found out that he did file a written claim. So it was a court date for this morning. So she calls Jerry. Jerry calls me. So I go. So you go to the hotel and you go to our court. Oh, Judy, I met our attorney there. Of course. And he went there but his lawyer was there. So then the two lawyers went into judges' chambers. The door closed. They did their bid. So now we have to go to court. Okay? Yeah, he's fighting. Why did you just say? I don't know. I went in there. So they got out of one of them. It's like Judy was hoping that she was going to show it wasn't a hardship and whatever. And then he was going to be back out tomorrow. So here's a lawyer who brought up some stuff that I said to her on the phone. So it wasn't a hardship and whatever. And then he was going to be back out tomorrow. So here's a lawyer who brought up some stuff that I said to her on the phone. So now we're going to court. So then Judy tells me, based on things I told the lawyer, we have to go to court. And you should never, ever, ever talk to the lawyer. You should have been called to court. However, this hadn't gone to our lawyer yet. I talked to the lady for a couple of minutes, and I didn't answer questions, and I gave her notes that were in her. Well, I did for a couple of minutes, and I guess so now I'm in the big ship. I guess so now I'm in the big ship. And I guess so now I'm in the big ship. You're running a business office. So if somebody calls and says, I'm a lawyer for so-and-so, are you going to say, I'm sorry, I can't talk to you? You call this person? Are you going to say, I'm sorry, I can't talk to you? You call this person? I'm not supposed to do that unless Bertie says so. If our lawyer had already been in on this, I would have had to, I wouldn't have given him my phone number. Our lawyer wasn't in on this yet, so I gave her Jerry's phone number. I don't know yet. So today, yeah, I saw you in Atlanta earlier. Yeah. And then today, the judge, he said nothing. He wasn't in court. It was in his room, in his chambers. The two lawyers went in. I sat in the courtroom. And he didn't have his phone number? No, he wasn't there. This is lawyer. Fuck you, bitch. He don't want his money back. He wants to have. And it wasn't that he sued us. We took him to court with the eviction. So if you ignore, it wasn't that he sued us. We took him to court with the eviction. So 
So if you ignore it, then you just lose. But he turned in a written response to the court to fight the eviction. And I made it up on this paper. The other side, I made it up on this paper. California? Yep. Yeah. Not our rules. Hey. Hey.